for create awareness about how you can foster Ebola and prevent Ebola as well. In a hut. After that, you take you went there in a camo. I said you should keep it. No. Before we need for you to marry, I say I show a people say. Eva, you got a big bucket yeah. He's weak. Hello. They look weak. All of them look weak. So okay. we, we spoke to the Go father. Ahead. Said um, the one of the guys have been vomiting. There's a 20 year old who has been vomiting. Yeah. He's also been toileting like yeah. twice. Okay. Yeah. Um, he has a history of liver problem. Okay. So, um, yes, he's very weak. As I speak, he hasn't eaten for three days. And the father has been calling the hotline, and no and there's no response. So we understand by it. That's what I'm asking. Is there any okay. plan? Yes, do those time, please. Yeah, I said the situation getting rough every day because we were told that this place is a holding center. But now the holding center, we shouldn't keep patient here for three hours. But when patient come and we refer the patient to Morovia, they tell her that the treatment site is filled. So you're getting all out of tough time. And then we have to send the patient back in the community. We can continue to keep all the patients here, and the place will be overcrowded. That's one of our problems we face. 